All right, so let's pick up the second part of the section two with area of circles and what's called a sector, which is just a part of something. So it's part of a circle. So um, very similar principle or idea of what we talked about on Monday with how do we find part of the circumference like of a circle? It's a, it's a percentage. Um, so we have the area of the sector or the part of the circle over the whole area, pi r squared, um, over the measure of <coughs> the way they write it in the book is the measure of a b, but it's just the the measure of the arc that we're dealing with, um, and then over three hundred and sixty degrees. So again, it's it's part over whole equals part over whole. It's a proportion. Um, okay, so if we had um, again, there's three pieces of information that are missing. What the area is, what the radius is, and then what the actual like angle um, or the arc measure is. So you're going to have to be given two out of those three to figure out like the problem. So if we have this one, let's see, we have eight and we have 70 degrees. And so we want to figure out um, what's the area of like this part here. Okay, so we have x, I don't know that area, so I'm trying to figure out, pi 8 squared, and then 70 degrees over 360 degrees. Uh, and so again, I would, you know, obviously we can do 8 times 8, but if we have zeros, we can at least reduce that, makes it a little bit easier to solve. Um, so multiplying the diagonals, and so let's use a calculator there, 64 times 7 would be 420, and 28 would be 448 pi. I think that's right. Let me double check. Yeah, 448. Um, and then divide by 36. So you will need to like figure out like what's, what pi is. Or what the 448 times pi is and then divide by 36. And we get 39.09 um, or 33 or 39.1. And I forgot to put in inches there, so it's inches squared. Okay, so, um, you know, sometimes they might ask you to figure out, like, what's the area of the blue part. So, um, which we figured out, like, right here, 64 pi. So then you would just subtract, oops. Subtract the area of the sector. So you could do it that way. Um, so 64 pi minus 39.1. And you get 161.96. Um, or I think they're technically rounding to the nearest hundredth. So you could do it that way, 
The other way that you could do it from the very beginning is like, well, I know that's 70 degrees. So then the rest of it is 290 degrees. 360 minus 70. And then just plug it in to the proportion and work it out. Then you don't have to like figure out what's the area of the red one and then subtract it from the whole thing. You kind of did your subtraction when you subtract the 70 degrees. So there's two different ways depending on, you know, how you see it. And really, I don't, doesn't matter to me which one you do as long as you're showing what your work is. Okay. Um, all right. So just like the, so like this problem. And then the second, excuse me. Um, the other problems that we did with circumference, um, you know, you might have, well, you will have um, a problem that says, uh, let me redraw that a little bit better. That, like, this is 40 degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the area is 35 meters squared. Um, and then, you know, it might ask you to, like, find the radius. Or it could ask you to find the area of the whole circle, or it could ask you to find, you know, the area of the part that's not the 40 degree, like, part. So it, but what, you know, it's essentially, if it says, like, what's the area of the white part, well, you still need the radius, or what's the area of the whole circle, you still need the radius. So if it doesn't directly say find the radius, that's what's missing right now. And so that's what you need to figure out and then make sure you answer what the actual question is. Okay, so if I know the area of the sector is 35 and then pi r squared is what I don't know. And then I know that this is 40 and this is 360. So the first thing that kind of I notice is I can reduce this, like the zeros will reduce themselves out but then four goes into 36 nine times. So I get, pi r squared when I go diagonally and then 35 times nine is 315. So it might, if it asks for what's the area of the circle, well, pi r squared is the area of the circle so you would be done, um, and it's meters squared. So let me see what it's going to say there. Yeah, so one of the questions that you're going to do will say find the area, and then one will say find the radius. So that means I need to solve like for R right here. So if it says area of the circle, then you're finished, 315 meters squared. If it asks for the radius, then we got to keep going, and we would divide by pi. So 315 divided by pi, and I get 100.27, if I round it off, and then do the square root. So let's see. Square root and I get ten point zero one, and that one would be just meters because area is the meters squared versus just meters. Okay, so pay attention to 
which one it asked you to do. So like I said, one of them will say area of the circle, so you'd be done where the black part ends. And then one says, what's the radius? So you would need to continue on with that. All right, and then you'll have some set. We'll have just, there's a couple of like what mistake was made type problems. Then you'll have two where they don't give you the the radius. And then one of them says find the area and one says find the radius. So the area problem, remember you'd, as soon as you get pi r squared, you know the area because that's the formula for area. Um, so on one of them, that's the finished product. And then the second one says find the radius. So you got to solve um, for r. Okay, and then the third set will be to do some problems where you're going to find like area of the shaded region. Oh, I need to draw a better picture than that. So it's going to want to know that. And so it's going to tell you some dimensions here. Okay, so typically I, you know, find the area of the whole thing and then subtract the area of like that middle part for it's like a basketball like court. Okay, so we've got, you know, 36 times 26 for the area of the whole thing. So obviously 36 on the bottom and then add the 16 and the 10. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we need to subtract like this middle like part. So there is a um and again my picture is kind of off, but uh this part in here um it should be much more of a square than it actually is, but um you know, this 16 on the right would come in there. And so the, this part would be 16 and 16, um, which is 256. Okay, so the blue part is 256. And then I need to figure out also this, excuse me, um, green part. So I know that the diameter, because there's a point there in the middle that keeps disappearing, but the diameter is 16. Um, so, you know, you could, here's where just kind of, the diameter means it's half a circle. So if I did the area of that circle and R is eight, so not 16, 16 is all the way across, the radius would be eight. Um, and then because that's 180 degrees, um, that's half a circle. So if I just did half, then that's four pi. And then I could, you know, figure that out. So you don't necessarily have to do, you know, if you wanted to, you could do this, you know, the formula that we did. Because the degrees, its diameter is 180. And then 
it does reduce to a half. And you're gonna end up with four pi when you solve like the whole thing. So what I really need to do is I need to take 936, which is the whole thing, and then I need to subtract 256 is the blue part, and 4 pi is the green part. You know, just to finish this solving off, I suppose some of you might want to see that. 2 and x is 2x, divide by 2, so there's my 4 pi. Okay, so let's see, 256 plus 4 pi is 268.57, and then subtract that, and we get 667.43. And again, I keep forgetting it's feet squared. You know, all those are in feet. Oh, shoot. I was dumb. I didn't do eight squared way over here. When I put the radius in, I didn't square it. So this should be 64. 64, so when you do half of 64, you would get 32. So when you did 64 over here, you'd get 32. So this is all like messed up. Let's fix it. Darn it. So 32. Still going to be feet squared, but 256 plus 32 pi, 356 point 53, so 936 minus 356 point 53. And we get 579.47 feet squared. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but got to, like, pay attention to those. So, sorry about that. Hopefully, I didn't confuse too many of you for in that part of it. Okay? So, um, you'll have, like, kind of three groups of problems. One where you know the radius and the degree to find the problems where you're finding the area of a shaded part. So I typically just say, okay, what's the area of the whole thing? And then subtract the area um, of the part that's not shaded. Okay. Um, and then uh, you go from there. So there's one of them that you're going to skip, uh, number 25, because just the drawing is a little bit weird. So um, on those like shaded ones. But uh, you do have one that is a triangle. Actually, two of them that are kind of triangles. So remember, um, area of a triangle, half base times height. Um, so you're going to need to look at that like information. Okay. All right. Hope you're doing well. Have a good rest of your day and we'll talk tomorrow.